Hi everyone, it's Miss Bundy here and I'm just going to give you a bit more information about the Year 5 residential trip that we've got coming up to in Cal at Calshaw Activity Centre on the 22nd um, to the 23rd of April this year. So our trip is different this year. Last year, Year 5 went to the Isle of Wight and we have changed our residential to Calshaw Activity Centre this year. And there are a number of reasons why we've chosen to do that. Um, number one, the cost to go to the Isle of Wight was closer to £200 this year, which we thought was just really expensive. Um, also, the Calshaw trip is much more accessible for those children who may have mobility issues or disabilities they've got everything you could possibly need at Cowshot which is not available on the Isle of Wight um, transport costs we can use our own mini minibuses so that again helps with the cost um, and coaches can be really really expensive as well as ferry travel too um, also, Cowshot offer some really fantastic tailored um, geography lessons that fit really well with our geography curriculum. It's a great location because it's got lots of geographical um, features there. It's actually quite unique because it's on a spit. Um, there are lots of coastal and river features nearby as well. So the children will get to do some geography field work when they're there. And there are many instructors that can offer um, the more adventurous activities that we're going to be doing that are fully qualified and insured. Um, so that makes it really safe for us to do too. So here are some of the arrangements for the trip. Um, whether your child's going on the day trip or the residential, um, they just need to come to school at normal time. Um, when they get there, if they're going on the residential on Monday, um, when they come to school, they'll put their overnight bag somewhere safe at school. Um, <clears throat> then they'll take their day rucksack and they'll go to Cowshot on the minibus to get started at the start of the day. Their bags will then be ferried over to Cowshot a little bit later in the day for them to pop in their rooms and unpack later. Um, they'll need to wear non-school uniform and trainers because they'll be doing activities straight away when they get there. They will need to be, depending on what the weather's like, um, they may need to wrap up warm. They might need to um, have layers on. So if they get too hot, they can take off a layer. Um, be prepared with hats, sunglasses, sun cream, all of that. Um, they will need a packed lunch on the first day. So that's the same for residentials on Monday and also day trippers on Tuesday if they are going to the residential on the Tuesday they they don't need two pack lunches on the Tuesday their lunch will be provided but if they're going on just the day trip they will need to bring a pack lunch so everyone needs a pack lunch for the first day um, if your child receives free school meals they're um, entitled to a school pack lunch so please let us know we'll send we'll ask beforehand because um, Cookie will need at least a couple of weeks notice to be able to order the right stuff for the packed lunches. Um, so we'll ask you if you would like one and she'll make those up. On the Tuesday, this is all children. So this is, everyone will be there on Tuesday because so, it's residential children and day trip children. It will be, they will be returning late back to school for a, roughly 6 p.m pick up um there will be an option to collect from cow shot a bit earlier if you prefer we are will definitely will confirm this nearer to the time the 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 times because cow shot haven't given us our timetable yet so we can't say for definite the exact times but we're expecting it to be around 5 30 6 p.m either from cow shot or from school So our programme, as I just said, is still being developed, um, but Calshot have confirmed that on children who go to the residential are going to get to go to Calshot Castle and do some skiing. So that will be on the first day on Monday. 
And then everyone on the second day, including the children who go on the day trip, will get to do the kayaking and the geography field work. There will be evening activities as well on the Monday evening for those that are staying over um, that the teachers will organise um, and we'll let you know about that closer to the time. We will send out a full kit list, like a tick sheet for you to check that you've got everything. But there are a few things just to be prepared for. So they will need a sleeping bag and pillow. They'll need um, toiletries and two towels, one towel for showering and one towel for the kayaking. They definitely need long sleeve top, trousers, thick socks and gloves if they're going skiing. And everyone will need swimsuit, beach towel and water shoes um, to go kayaking. Water shoes, they don't have to be anything fancy, they can just be old trainers, but they will be getting like soaked in the water. They'll be walking into the water with their shoes on. So up to you whether you want to choose to wear those um, like wetsuit shoes, that's fine, or just an old pair that um, you don't mind getting wet and dirty. As I've already said, pack lunch for the first day. Please make sure they've got a refillable water bottle, that's essential. Um, where, where they're out round site throughout the day, there's not going to be any cups or anything like that for them to use. They do need to have a water bottle. And they'll need wet weather gear in case it rains, wellies for going on the beach and near rivers, and sun protection. April is a bit of a funny month. We don't know, it could be really warm or it could be rainy and cold. There is a gift shop there if they want to spend any pocket money, but no more than £10. Um, that's totally optional. Um, and I think it's really important that they bring a teddy bear to give them a little bit of extra comfort in the night time. Things not to pack. So we're asking children not to bring anything electronic. They won't be able to charge or plug anything in. Um... No cameras, but we will, staff will have cameras. We'll be able to take some photos of the children doing the activities. No mobile phones, no jewellery or watches. Um, nothing that can get damaged, really, or anything that's expensive or precious. And nothing that is no more than £10 in money and no food. So obviously they do need to bring their packed lunch on the first day. That's fine. Um, but no extra snacks or sweets or anything in their bags unless agreed with the class teacher. So if you think that your child's going to really struggle with eating, please do speak to us and we can make some arrangements if, you, if they need to bring some extra snacks with them. The accommodation. So these are some photos that I took when I went to go and visit recently. Um, there's a picture on the screen now of some bunk beds, of a triple bunk bed. Some of them are triples, some of them are doubles. We will ask them to write down the friends that they want to share with. We can't guarantee they're going to get everyone who they've put on their list, but we will try our best to make sure they're with at least one of their close friends. Um, there's also indoor toilets and showers. The toilet and shower is actually quite good, so... Um, the, it's like a toilet and sink, but also a shower in there and you can go in there and lock the door. So the shower and toilet is all completely private for one person. And the other, other picture on the screen is like the canteen. So that's in the dining room. It's very similar to how we do it at school. They have a tray and they go along the front and they can choose what they'd like. And I, I've seen some example menus and they look really child friendly quite similar to the types of meals that, that we would have at school. If you're worried, if your child's one of those children that always has a packed lunch and is a fussy eater, do speak to us and we can talk about menus and make sure that there's something on there that they can eat. Okay, the costing. <clears throat> the day trip is a £50 voluntary contribution and that is due by the 5th of April. The residential... The total cost is £151.50. So the first payment is due on the 2nd of February and that will be £50.50. The second payment will be £50.50 again, which is on the 4th of March. 
and the third will be the same amount again payable on the 5th of April those are just the deadlines you can pay before then you can you can pay the whole amount um, straight away if you wish or you can break it up in this way if you're looking at that and thinking oh that's not achievable for me speak to us let us know and we'll see if we can um, do a different plan for you so we can change the payment plans should you need that um what we are saying is that the total cost of £151.50 needs to be paid before the child goes, otherwise they won't be able to go on the residential. Okay, some frequently asked questions. First of all, will there be opportunities for parent helpers to come? Yes, there will. So we may need some extra helpers for the daytimes. Night times we're fully covered. Um, so we've got enough staff for sleeping over, but there may be opportunities for parents to come and help during the day. So if you are interested, please do let us know. We really, really appreciate the help and we think it's going to be lots of fun too. Um, why has the trip changed this year? That's a great question. Um, for the reasons that I mentioned earlier, um, we're trying it out this year because it had so many positives compared to the Isle of Wight trip. But we are open to feedback. Um, we like to change our, up our trips every so often and try something new. Um, so that's why we know it's really local and you might have been there with your children before. However, that experience of going on a residential with their friends, their school friends, um, I think pretty invaluable and I'm really pleased that lots of them are going. Um, what if my child gets ill or gets very upset staying overnight? So you might have a child that's not used to staying away from home and you're a bit worried about that or they might be feeling a bit poorly. It's the same as what will happen at school. We will give you a call and let you know if if we're really really worried. Um, of course just cut, you can come and collect them at any time. Um, Will my child be with their friends? Yes, they will. They might not get every single friend that they've put on their list in their bedroom with them. Um, but they will be, most of the time, we will be um, with their classmates anyway for the activities and things like that. What if my child needs to take medication? Um, that needs to be named really clearly and have really clear instructions. Um, and to be handed to one of the adults when you drop your child off in the morning, whether that's for the day trip or for the overnight. We are only going to Calshot on the minibus, so if your child is going to get travel sick in that short journey, they may need some sickness medication, but I expect most children probably be okay. Um, you will, if your child has medication like at, in the evening time or it's different than what they normally have at school because it's a residential you will need to go to main reception in advance and fill out a form if it's a new medication so please do that in advance so that we've got that ready to go and we're not trying to fill in a form before we the morning of the trip um will you be able to contact your child so if there is an emergency um, and you need to speak to your child or you need to come and pick them up, please do call the school office during school hours and they will be able to get in contact with us and we will give you a call. Otherwise, there will be a number that you will be able to ring and to get hold of us at Calshot and I will let you know that close to the time when that's confirmed. Um, what if your child doesn't like the food? Um, there is going to be some basic snacks for them, so or alternatives. So they said that they'll do things like plain pasta, bread and butter, toast, jacket potato, those types of things. So that if you've got a fussy eater, there will be some alternatives. A good idea is to let us know, let the class teacher know this in advance and we can check that there's something that they can definitely eat. What if my child still wets the bed at night? This is a really common issue. Um, if that is you, if your child does occasionally wet the bed, let us know. 
um, pack them with a bin bag or a big waterproof bag or something like that. And if there is an accident, we can make sure everything's wrapped up um, for them to take home. And we will...